Hi, Aoife Marie. Thanks for joining us today on the Sustainable Nutrition Exchange for Kerry Group. One of the things which I think is interesting about sustainable nutrition is this passion or urgency that Kerry seems to have engaged with uh, this topic. So could you tell us what the urgency or passion of sustainable nutrition is for Kerry right now? Yeah, Damien, look, sustainable nutrition at its very basics is about living a healthy life on a healthy planet and allowing future generations to do that. So it's about our food system allowing this to happen. But right now, we are not living a healthy life and we're living on a very unhealthy planet. So currently we see 2 billion people uh, globally that are either overweight or obese. And we know that this leads to chronic diseases such as type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease. And at the same time, we have 700 million people who are hungry and malnourished. So that doesn't make sense that we would have such a um, disparity between uh, the population. At the same time as that as well, one third of our food produced globally is wasted. So look, that just doesn't make sense. And our food system is failing us. So therefore, we need, as the food industry, to challenge one another to put down these bold sustainability targets to reform the, the food system because it's not working at present. You know, and, you know, it's not just one company that can do this. It's not just Kerry. It's our customers need to do it. Our suppliers need to do it. We all need to put down your sustainability targets because together is the only way that, that we'll actually make a difference moving forward to, to the, the global population and allowing future generations to survive and thrive. Mm. I'm interested in this idea that Kerry can't, can't do it on, a no, on its own. Could you maybe talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, so I suppose sustainability is fundamental to our business model. And what we see is that we can only work um, in sustainability effectively if we partner with our customers and if we co-create these foods and beverages with our customers um, to provide more sustainable solutions. Now, um, Kerry is measured. We've we put out these uh, sustainability targets. Um, it's fundamental to the business model. Every part of the business is measured on it. So from commercial to RDNA to operations. And this allows us then to have um, a portfolio that we can partner, innovate with our customers with to make their products more sustainable and to help them to meet their own sustainability targets. Mm. And I think that's just that's that's fundamental to, to the way we work. And, you know, Kerry has put down these measures around nutritional targets and environmental targets. And we're um, calling this the sustainable nutrition spectrum. And this is, I suppose, how we're going to partner with our customers, helping them to move along this sustainable nutrition spectrum at making more you know, sustainable products that are healthy for people, but also healthy for the planet. Mm. So the, it looks like this spectrum contains taste, which Kerry has always been great at, nutrition, which Kerry has always been great at, and sustainability that Kerry has always been uh, great at, uh, to be honest, and brings them together. If I'm a customer of Kerry, do I pick a position on this spectrum and you help me to get there? Or do you tell me where I should be on the spectrum? Or when you say working together, how do I do that? So, yeah, we're, we're working with our customers to move them along this. So you could think about the spectrum as being, you know, zero to 100. Some of our customers might be at 10. Some of our customers might be at 50. Some of them might be even further along. So we give them the tools in order to move along that. I think, look, just to explain a little bit more about that spectrum is the spectrum involves two things. One, it means nutritionally enhancing products, making sure that they're as nutritious as they can be. And then secondly, it means um, ensuring that there is a, an improved environmental and social impact of our customers' products. Now, if we look at the, the nutritional impact or the, the nutritional um, profile of our customers' products, we start at one end of the spectrum talking about food safety, making sure those products are safe to eat, that they don't end up in the bin. You then move along the spectrum and suppose enhance the nutritional properties of that product. So, you know, maybe reformulating it to make it better for you, reducing sugar, reducing fat, reducing salt. And then you can move along even further along that spectrum and 
fortify that product, make it even more nutritious, add in nutrients that wouldn't have been um, naturally within that product. So fortifying with proteins, fibers, or even, um, you know, scientifically backed products like probiotics and beta glucans to enhance uh, the, the nutritional aspect of that product. And again, it's that spectrum that we move along um, and we help our customers then whatever part of the spectrum they're at to, you know, we challenge them to move along even further each time. And in conjunction with that, then there are environmental measures, there's social measures, things we're working on. We've got metrics around circular economy. So it's it's all about innovation and co-creation to develop those products for, for consumers on the market. What are the marketplace benefits then if I go on this journey with uh, with Kerry? So the consumers, we know that consumers are looking for sustainability. We see that a lot of products on the market that are um, communicating the sustainability impact, they're growing at a much quicker rate than those who aren't. And fundamentally, it's something that is a must do, not a nice to have. So um, our customers, every every aspect of the food industry, they need to put these um, sustainability measures in place, communicate that they are you know, thinking about their customers' health, their consumers' health, the environmental health, being better for people, better for planet, because that in turn will generate profit for, for our customers because consumers are looking for it. Yeah. Could we take a simple example here, maybe like sugar, that if I wanted to reduce the amount of sugar uh, in my food, how do I, how does that impact on taste? How does it impact on nutrition? And then how, what's the sustainability benefit for me in, in doing that? How do those three things work together? Yeah, absolutely. So if you think about the sustainable nutrition spectrum, that would fall in the middle around making a product better for you. OK, so we have a range of sugar reduction technologies called Taste Sense, and this helps us to achieve up to a 30 percent sugar reduction. And that goes hand in hand then with a 30 percent water reduction and a 20 percent reduction in CO2 emissions just with this technology. So a lot of our customers, particularly in the beverage industry, are working with us with this technology in order to improve the nutritional profile of the product, but also the environmental measures. Now, you know, a lot of customers, for example, in the food food service industry are looking to, to reduce the sugar um, in their products. We've worked with many of them. And um, so one example was with one of our customers in the UK. We looked to reduce the sugar in some of the dairy beverages on their menu. And we've been able to achieve a 20% reduction in sugar with them and that then you know if we look at what that meant with regards to their total sales we've actually reduced a thousand tons of sugar from their menu and um, with this one product range and that's four billion calories that we reduced off that menu so i think that's it's quite substantial and then you have the environmental impacts like the water reduction and the co2 reduction as well mm -hmm. and i think that's great and like that's just one product on one market with one customer so yeah. if we can have that level of impact on multiple stages, then, you know, I think that's a really great, great uh, space to be working in and to to move forward. It's pretty impressive when you put it into something that a consumer themselves can understand in terms of the scale or the quantum of, uh, of change. Like another example, then, you know, where we talked about sugar reduction. If we think about moving them further along that spectrum, then, you know, maybe adding something in like fortifying with a protein or something like that. And look, this year we've seen a huge demand from our customers looking for that fortification piece because consumers want that. And, um, you know, consumers are very aware of their health now as of 2020 with COVID-19 and everything like that. So immunity is a really strong trend that our customers are looking for um, so what we have done is you know worked with a lot of our customers this year to enhance the, the nutritional properties of their products add immune health benefits so we've done that using an, integ an integrated systems approach with some of our customers so for example one customer wanted a juice beverage with enhanced immunity benefits and we were able to do that by using a product it was a, a yeast beta glucan product we call wellmune and that has a lot of clinical evidence behind it that improves immunity but also we used our dry systems our dry beverage systems um, capabilities to provide a product to that customer that tasted really good lots of natural extracts in there our taste technologies 
dry beverage systems, which had 10% less CO2 emissions, and then that clinically supported immune health ingredient to provide a product that's actually doing really well on the market now for our customers. So it's about, you know, providing both the, the health benefits and the environmental benefits and bringing that step change for our customers, pushing them to to move further along that spectrum of um, sustainable nutrition. So I think it's a it's a really exciting space to work in. Yeah, you you developed this tool of the uh, nutrition spectrum for for Kerry. How far can we get it between now and twenty thirty using this nutrition spectrum as a as a tool? So yeah, the nutrition spectrum um, for Kerry is where we've looked at all our sixteen thousand SKUs and we've all we've mapped them as being either um, positive, balanced, or poor with regards to nutritional value for our customers. And what we do then is our RDNA teams work with our customers to help to nutritionally optimize um, their products. So like I was saying, either making it better for you, reducing sugar, salt or fat or fortifying then with other ingredients. And I think, look, there's 10 years ahead of us between now and 2030. There's a lot that can be done, but it has to be done as a step change. It's a journey. You need to move along that spectrum in steps. You can't make that massive jump um, all at once because um, yeah, our customers just want to make sure that their, their consumers will still like the product. So it needs to be done in small step changes, but each small step will have a significant impact. You know, if you're reducing sugar by 20% at one step and you reach that, then you push yourself further again and see what you can do um, even further. And all of these step changes will have environmental and social uh, benefits as well. So, yeah. So taste, nutrition and sustainability uh rides again that's it yeah. yeah all together one of the one of the things which i think people like to think is that there's a magic wand that you can use to just say okay let's be more sustainable let's be more nutritious but it seems from what you've just said that actually what we need to do is to go step by step almost product by product to actually improve the the world and improve the consumer's life is that a fair analysis absolutely yeah so it it needs to be done by small little steps, incremental changes in our customers' portfolios, us partnering with them to do that product by product um, and, you know, region by region and challenging each other, let, challenging our customers, letting them challenge us to do that and to innovate. And it's, you know, innovation is at the source of this. We're currently, you know, looking at our our portfolio and seeing how can we make this more sustainable? What innovations can we do to make our products Um you know, have more environmental benefits as well as having more health benefits. So I think it's it's definitely a journey that we need to take with our customers step by step, product by product. Um, but it you know it's it's a great journey to be on. Yeah, and it's a great it's a great place to start. Thanks for being with us uh, today, uh, Ethan Marie, and good luck with what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you so much.